Hi, Year 2. I'm going to read you one of my favourite Christmas stories. It's called Harvey Slumpenberger's Christmas Present and it's by John Birmingham. I wonder why Santa's riding a horse and he's not on a sleigh. It was Christmas Eve. Father Christmas and the reindeer were home at last. They were very tired because they'd been delivering presents to all the children everywhere. They had something to eat, then Father Christmas put the reindeer to bed. One of the reindeers said it did not feel very well. Perhaps it had nibbled something on the way that it shouldn't have. Father Christmas that thought that all it needed was a good night's sleep. Finally, Father Christmas was able to go to bed. He put on his pyjamas and was just climbing into bed when he saw something that made him gasp. At the end of his bed lay a sack. Father Christmas could see the shape of one present still inside it. Father Christmas pulled the present out of the sack. The present was for Harvey Slumpenberger's burgers. Father Christmas knew all about Harvey Slumpenberger. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger's parents were too poor to buy him presents. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger only ever got one present. And that was the present which Father Christmas bought him. He knew that Harvey Slumpenberger lived in a hut at the top of Roly Poly Mountain, which was far, far away. Father Christmas was very tired. The reindeer were asleep and one of them was not very well. But Father Christmas knew that he had to get the present to Harvey Slumpenberger. Father Christmas put on his coat over his pyjamas. He put on his boots and his hat and he picked up the sack with Harvey Slumpenberger's present in it and started to walk through the cold winter night to the hut where Harvey Slumpenberger lived at the top of Roly Poly Mountain, which was far, far away. Father Christmas had not gone very far when he met a man with an aeroplane. Excuse me, he said, my name is Father Christmas and I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger. The little boy who lives in a hut at the top of Roly Poly Mountain, which is far, far away. And it will soon be Christmas Day. Get in my plane, said the man, and I will take you as far away as I can. The aeroplane took off and flew through the night sky towards Roly Poly Mountain. Heavy snow began to fall. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the man. I cannot fly my plane any further in this snow. The plane bumped and skidded across the ground and finally came to a halt. But if you go to the garage that lies over the hill, there is a man with a jeep. Perhaps he can help you. Father Christmas set off through the snow. He went over the hill to the garage where the man was with the jeep. Excuse me, he said, my name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of Roly Poly Mountain, which is far, far away. And it will soon be Christmas Day. Climb in my jeep, said the man, and I will take you as far as I can. The jeep bounced and spun across the fields down the road toward Roly Poly Mountain. But then the jeep skidded and crashed through the fence and into a tree. Father Christmas was st sent tumbling into the snow. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the man. I can take you no further. But if you go down the hill and across the river, there is a boy with a motorbike. Perhaps the boy can help you. Father Christmas went down the hill, across the river and met the boy with the motorbike. Excuse me, he said, my name is Father Christmas and I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of Roly Poly Mountain, which is far, far away. And it will soon be Christmas Day. Well, go on my motorbike, said the boy. I will take you as far as I can. The motorbike roared off along the road towards Roly Poly Mountain. They had not gone very far before the motorbike slid on the ice and they both fell off. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the boy. The front of my bike is all twisted and I can take you no further. But if you go across the valley and into the woods, there is a girl who has skis. Perhaps she can help you. Father Christmas went across the valley into the woods where he found the girl with skis. Excuse me, he said. My name is Father Christmas. I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives in a hut at the top of Roly Poly Mountain, which is far, far away. And it will soon be Christmas Day. Stand back on the back of my skis, said the girl, and I will take you as far as I can towards Roly Poly Mountain. 
They had not gone very far when the skis broke with a crack and they both tumbled into the snow. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the girl. My skis are broken and I can take you no further. But if you go up the slope and down onto the plain, you will be near the bottom of Roly Poly Mountain, where there is a climber with a rope. Perhaps he can help you. Father Christmas went up the slope and down onto the plain, where he found the climber with the rope. Excuse me, he said, my name is Father Christmas, and I still have one present left in my sack, which is for Harvey Slumpenberger, the little boy who lives at the top, lives in a hut at the top of Roly Poly Mountain, which is far, far away, and it will soon be Christmas Day. Hold on to my rope, said the climber, and I will take you as far as I can up the Roly Poly Mountain. They had not climbed very far when the rope broke and Father Christmas nearly fell off Roly Poly Mountain. I am so sorry, Father Christmas, said the climber. My rope is broken. I cannot climb any higher. But if you carry on up that cliff and over those boulders, you will see a little hut at the top. And there is 